Something like the rude hi-hats. It would have never occurred to me to assume that they would be anything else but for the heavy guys, for the, for the heavy rock, for the real metal guys. I would have thought rude symbols, no, that's for them, you know. And, uh, and indeed, uh, that's just a, like, like an association thing, you know. I'm, I'm looking at the word rude and I'm thinking, yeah, they look kind of pretty heavy duty. And then uh, the other thing is, if you try the rest of the range, you find out that they are ideally suited to heavy, to heavy rock players. But the hi-hats had something really, really special a really special tone and character, which was exactly what I've been looking for. The reason I'm sometimes not really pro having labels, you know, function labels for everything is because these rude hi-hats, for instance, have such a fantastic character and sound, really, really sexy sound, and yet are sensitive enough for, and fast enough speaking so that they're great for funk and they're great for like lighter jazz playing. Um, and if you really work out on the, this pair of hi-hats, you find out that actually they're suited to just about everything. So the, it was an amazing realization through just having, getting over my own preconceptions about what symbols look like, which you have to forget when you've come from another company for maybe over 30 years, you start to assume things and you start to see little things that make you think, oh no, this, this is probably going to be a, a symbol not suited to me for this reason. Wrong. You have to leave all those things at the door and start again. And with a, with a company as revolutionary and as unique as, as Paiste, um, as I've been learning, uh, it's really imperative to, to start looking and, and just leave all your assumptions and pre-assumptions at the door. <laughs>